Assalamu alaikum, my brothers and sisters. In the same way that good deeds are multiplied during certain seasons and certain times, sins are also multiplied. So if there is a month that Allah has declared as blessed, or there are a set of days that Allah has declared as great, and they have virtue, and that good deeds are multiplied in those days, or very loved unto Allah during those days, then you need to know if you were to sin on those days, that would also be multiplied. Because as much as the good deeds would earn greater pleasure of Allah, sins would earn greater wrath of Allah. So one of the ways of actually doing a good deed is to abstain from sin. Did you realize as Muslims that just by staying away from sin, you are already earning a reward? Amazing. I'm doing a good deed by not doing a bad deed. Wow, that's amazing. Only with Allah, the most merciful, the most kind. If I were to stop myself from doing something that would displease Allah for his sake, so what have I done? I've pleased him. So the pleasure of Allah lies in staying away from his displeasure. He'll already be happy. MashaAllah. That's an amazing thing. So my brothers and sisters, sins are also multiplied at certain times and in certain places. Imagine a person's sins. If someone commits a sin, perhaps in private, in, a, in his own home, it's different from sinning in the masjid, for example, the house of Allah. And it's different from sinning in Mecca, for example. And it's different from sinning in Ramadan, for example. And it's different from sinning during the last 10 nights of Ramadan. So I hope you realize that during these blessed 10 days, one of the things you should be doing is to avoid that which is sinful, major and minor. We should be avoiding sin throughout the year, but Allah gives us certain seasons where we become more conscious of sins. So we don't do them. And that would actually result in the pleasure of Allah, which will result in us becoming more conscious of Allah, becoming better people. And that will then help us to stay away from those sins even outside of that season, be it Ramadan or be it the 10 days of the Hijjah or any other blessed time or place. So this is Allah's favor upon us. We need to realize this. What we must also do, do during these days because we know that Allah loves good deeds during these days more than any other days. And I've already explained the difference between the nights where the nights of Ramadan are more blessed and the days, the days of the first 10 days of the Hijjah are more blessed. What should I do? Think of a variety of good deeds. Start off by what? Look, I can tell you something. You have 10 days. If you were to read or recite three chapters of the Quran a day, you'd complete the 30 chapters in 10 days. Subhanallah. And if you want to do it in nine days, you can add to that. You can actually make it four. You can actually, you'll complete it in less than the time. So remember this. You can read. If you the Quran, if you cannot complete it, no problem, at least you read more than usual, okay? Another thing to do, for example, there is a hadith that says there is a certain dhikr, certain remembrance of Allah, declaring a certain praise of Allah. If you were to repeat it a hundred times a day, you, you will have a massive reward of having freed ten slaves. And remember, Islam came about with the freedom of slaves more than anything else. So, you have a reward of freeing 10 slaves. You have a reward of so much. 100 rewards written next to your name and 100 sins wiped out from next to your name. These are minor sins that sometimes you may not know about. And Allah elevates your status up to the evening or up to the morning, depending on when you've said it. Allah protects you from shaitan. What is this beautiful statement? La ilaha illallah wahdahu. There is none worthy of worship besides Allah, Allah alone. La sharika lahu. No partner does he have. Lahul mulku. To him belongs entire kingdom. Wa lahul hamdu. And to him belongs all praise. Yuhi wa yumitu. He gives life and he causes death. 
And he is able to do anything and everything. That statement, say it at least a hundred times and you will have the reward that I mentioned. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us good deeds. Also, what's good to do, be very kind to your parents during these 10 days. Not to say don't be kind during other days. Also, give some charity during these days. Perhaps engage in night prayer a little bit more excessively. And also, seek the forgiveness of Allah and Allah Almighty will forgive you. May Allah grant us all ease. أقول قولي هذا وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد.